In this video, one of my subscribers comments on how to make AI talking animation without art flow since all YouTubers are just showing the same art flow version that looks terrible. So I thought, let's make a video about it. Also, I'm quite bored with this one. So why not make a new one that looks really, really handsome? And this one doesn't look handsome. And this is something that you guys see instead of me. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this and this type of AI avatar talking animation that I'm going to use personally in my channel. Not like other YouTubers who just tell you that they don't use that method to make their AI avatar. It's all going to be free and easy to make. So, let's start. I will show you guys two methods. One with a mask and one without a mask. First, without a mask. Let me tell you one thing. If you think that you know the first method and are going to skip it, then don't do that because it intrigues the second method. I'm just assuring you that if you watch the entire video, you won't waste any time. Step 1. To generate an image, there are penalty options out there. Pixlr, Pixart, Canva, CapCut, Lexica, and many more. I actually tried every single AI, but no one gave me a satisfying result except Runway AI. Go to Runway AI, then apply these settings and paste this prompt, or your preferred prompt. It depends on what you want to get. Also, you can add some negative prompt if you want. Then click on Generate Image. I tried every single option, generated a bunch of images, and then selected this image because I think it quite matches my criteria, but it's not fully perfect. So what we need to do now is click on this three dot, then click on the image variation. Before that, I tried image to image to explore this option. But the results were so awful. That is why, don't go from image to image. Go for image variation. Now click on Generate, and keep trying until you find your character. And remember that this is not our final image, so if it's not so perfect, then it's okay because the next generation process is the main step where we will get the final image. After generating three to four times, my credit has been finished, but I think this image came out really well, though it is not our final image, so don't worry about looks. Now download one of these images. Now go to Leonardo AI and upload this image to here. You might be thinking, what if we directly generate our first image in Leonardo instead of Runway AI? Well, I tried many times, and the results are not acceptable, as you can see. After uploading this image, click on Image Generation, but the results are not that great, right? Here I get an idea. Create a new account on Leonardo, where you get alchemy to use for free. I already created a new account. Now apply these settings, as I am showing here. and paste the prompt. I will leave this prompt in the description so you can try with it, and click on Generate. And just from the same prompt, you can see these results came out really well by just enabling alchemy. Now, if you want a more accurate result, then you should try image to image. Right now, what I'm going to do is upload the same image from Runway AI. And now click on Generate and check out this result. All of these results are looking great, and you can literally go with anyone, right? But I want to go with this one because if you look carefully, you can see this character is quite a little bit friendly, whereas others are aggressive, looking by their eyebrows. And congratulations, you have learned how to generate a perfect looking character for your faceless YouTube channel. Now here's the second step, finding a background for your AI avatar. Listen, you can stick with the same background, but you are not watching a regular tutorial. If you watch me, then you will create or make something above average. The choice is yours. By the way, it's all about the result, and that is God level. Go to Lexica AI. I searched every single prompt so you don't have to. Just search for nighttime room view and pick one from here that is suitable for our studio. I think this one is quite good. Or you can search exactly this prompt if you want to get this type of image. Also, you can explore this type of image style by clicking here. After seeing many images, I think it's better to stick with the first one. After all, first love is something you want to forget, but you can't. So download any image that you like to use as your setup or studio. By the way, we have completed this step. Step 3. Now we need to remove the entire background except this table and our avatar. To do that, go to remove.bg and click on change image background. Then just upload the image from which you want to remove the background. In this case, this is the image. After completing the upload, 
you can see the entire background has been removed perfectly. Um, this little patch is not a big deal to remove. Now I don't know if I download it as it is. It is going to have a transparent or white background. So I put a color that is not in the image, so I chose blue because I have seen it in Marvel film shooting. Then download it. And go to Canva for further editing. Select the YouTube thumbnail, then upload the avatar and background. Then drag it here and adjust the size. Next, click on Edit Photo and select Remove Background. You can skip the remove.bg site and directly remove it from Canva. I forgot this, so whatever you do, the result should be the same. Now click on Magic Eraser and you get a brush. Simply draw over the computer and it will automatically delete those parts. Now it's totally ready to place the background. Drag the background to the center. Move it to back and adjust it to how you want it to look. Just download this image. Decorating Studio. Now if you are someone who doesn't like to decorate their setup or studio, then you can skip the next step. Go to Google and search for Adobe Firefly. Then go to Generative Fills. Or you can search for firefly.adobe.com upload in paint. You will be directly redirected to this page. Now upload that image here. Adjust the position as everyone needs a laptop on their desk. So draw that area where you want your laptop to be and write what you want. For me, it's a MacBook laptop. Click on Generate. As you can see, I tried many times, but these are not perfect because the desk is too small to place a laptop. So we need to extend the desk. To do that, go to any Uncrop website. Uncrop by Clip Drop is best. Anyway, I go with Neural Love. Yeah, you heard right, Love. Upload the Canva edited image. Wait for a few seconds. After complete processing, our image is ready. Now download it and go to Canva to crop the image because in Firefly there is no option for cropping. Now upload that image to Firefly. What we need to do is make the table complete and remove this paper so it looks clean. Now draw the area where you want your laptop to be. Describe what you want and click generate. See the result and do what it needs to be perfect, like increase the area, edit the prompt, or anything else. Click on more and keep generating. I think this one I can keep. You can decorate the rest of the blank space. A wall clock, air conditioner, art piece, lights, etc. I need an art piece here. So again, follow the same step. and it's done. Now download it. Go to Canva and remove the logo. Editing image. Then upload this image to the photo P select magic lasso tool and start selecting the window area. After selecting, press delete key to delete the selection and click on the selected area to deselect it. Then, one by one, delete all the part of the window. Mistakenly, I have a white background so it looks white, but it should be look like transparent like this. And make sure you have no background in your image. If you don't upload image in proper way, then you could get in trouble in future editing process just like me. But now I know that. So I'm telling you, and the proper way is, don't click on new project, then you will get this background instead. Click on upload from computer, then select the image, drag it, or you can click on open. Next press alt key and scroll up down to zoom in or zoom out the image, then select healing tool and erase the mouth. Then save as PNG file. Finding background. Now, go to YouTube and search for nighttime ambient city views. You can try any other search term that you want to put in your background. I found this one, and it's okay. Copy the link and go to Streamable because it's 42 minutes long. Paste the link. Trim the video and click on Create Video. Click on the three dots and click the download link and then download. Now we need a talking mouth animation. Download it from YouTube and never go into Canva to remove the green screen. It was terrible. Just go to CapCut PC for the rest of our editing. Create new project and upload all the stuff you need.
First, drag this video to the timeline, then the avatar. Now adjust the video to show a specific part as a background. Then, upload the mouth animation. Go to cutout. Check the green screen box. Pick this green color then, and drag this slide bar to the highest. Crop the mouth animation. Then place this in the appropriate place, and you're done. Don't rush to export. Take your time. Once you're satisfied, export. Now check out the result. I think it's pretty cool. One thing to remember is to not add any effects or transitions unless you don't want to lose video quality. Okay, let's move on to our second method. I swear, you can't find this method on YouTube. Yeah, you can see this method after I upload this video. This method is a lot easier since we have already covered many steps. Step 1. Image Generation. In first method, we use Runway AI, but you can skip that if you have alchemy. Let me show you how. First, create a new account on Leonardo. Paste the same prompt, and just edit and add a black mask. Select Albedo XL. For alchemy, choose Anime. Select 16.9 Aspect Ratio, then Generate. As you can see, these images came out really well, but none of them are straightforward. You can get that with many tries. Edit prompt and try. But if you want an easy and fast method, then try image to image. Click here. Turn on image input and upload the image. I'm using the previous one because if I go to generate a new image, then this video is going to be bigger. So that would be a waste of time, as you guys already know how to generate a good looking AI avatar. Then hit generate. Wait a few seconds. And there you are. And I'm absolutely surprised with the quality. I don't think we can generate this type of high quality image with free tools. I'm downloading this one. Editing image. Upload this image to PhotoP. And as you can see, the background is black. It is happen. Because we upload this image in image to image input. So it is very easy to remove that. Just select the magic wand tool and click on the black spot. Then press delete. For this area, zoom in by pressing the Alt plus scroll key in the mouse, then press the H key to drag and adjust the position, then select Magnetic Lasso, and just draw the line. It will automatically select the area, then join the line and press Delete. Now adjust the position to the face. Click Magnetic Lasso. Select the entire mask except the border. It depends on you. I like the border to be there. Now select the brush tool and choose your preferred color from here and paint on the entire mask. The black mask is looking good, but it's your choice. You're probably thinking why we need to do this. Well, the answer you will get shortly. I don't know why, but I go for a grayish kind of color. Can you tell me in the comment which color is more preferable that I can use in my avatar? No matter what color you choose, you need to make it more realistic. To do that, select the smudge tool, drag the end of the mask area to the center from each side, and drag one time from the top of the mask. Now you can see the difference. Now click on the raster mask from the bottom right corner, and then export the image. First click on file, then click on export as, then choose PNG and save it. Then click on any blank area, and press Ctrl plus Z to undo, and we got the whole image back. Again, follow the same steps and export the whole image. Editing video. Now open CapCut. Import those files. I'm doing it on the same project. I'm just replacing the avatar image and deleting the mouth animation. Now drag the mask onto the timeline, and set it in the image like this. Now use the mask to crop the mask image. Just carefully note what I am doing. After setting up everything, use the keyframe and press the right arrow key 10 times. Then slide down the mask a little bit using Y axis key to make it minus 15. Again press the right arrow key 10 times and reset the mask position to where it was. Just select this number and type 0. Again follow the same step, move forward 10 times, then select the Y axis and type minus 15. Repeat it for the entire 10 seconds or 15 seconds, or just cut it after repeating it for 5 to 6 times, and make sure while you're cutting your video, it should be cut from the place where a keyframe is showing the mask down, then press arrow key 10 times, and then cut your video otherwise it will not look perfect and then copy and paste it side by side. Now export this. This is the ultimate outcome. If you find it the most helpful and 100% original guide on how to make an AI avatar, then subscribe. And you may actually send your AI avatar to me on Instagram. I want to see how it comes up. The best top 5 will get a place on my community post. See you in another video.